hello guys welcome back to another video and today we're doing a showcase of the ice crossbow which is one of the final survival scaling weapons that we have left to do we're only missing repeater crossbow right now and i think uh maybe a couple other items but i don't think we can do them like uh ice bow i don't think that's viable at least not on its own but anyway Let's get into the run. So, Ice Crossbow is uh, one of the tougher items to use in the game, in my opinion. Especially because Ice uh, does not work very well against most bosses in the game. So, we might have some trouble getting the run done. But we are going to try either way. Okay. Let's see, this one has an FX, so as you can see the first shot freezes the enemies uh, and the second shot will do critical hits if the enemy is uh, frozen. So we do the first shot and the second shot later and that's how we're gonna play. This might be a bit counterintuitive. There we go. This might be a bit counterintuitive, but we're gonna make it work. There we go. Oh, that was a close shot. So the ice crossbow is, in my opinion, a, a bad weapon. Especially on uh, tactics. doesn't work very well as I said mostly because the freeze affix is not so good but we are gonna make it work I hope if you're seeing this video we did it or this is like my 10 attempt uh, <laughs> my 20th attempt and I just gave up Okay, this leads nowhere. This is probably a hundred percent known, but we're gonna miss the the time door for sure. Uh, this is gonna be a slower run, unfortunately. I'm sorry for it, but it is what it is. Oh, come on! There we go. This is not the way. This is the way. We could use this with uh, Kill Rhythm, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Okay, thankfully I did not recycle the piece of food there. Now let's go. Once again, we're taking this to the hardest route in the game. I've had some comments over the past few 
weeks about people uh, suggesting me doing different routes and uh, I'm gonna try but the main reason I don't uh, do it is because oh an upgrade nice yeah an upgrades an upgrade it has no pierce unfortunately so the main reason I do it uh, stick to the same route is because I'm usually trying to showcase the weapon and uh, the weapon I'm using and that usually means uh, in my opinion going through the hardest route in the game and the route that gives you the most scrolls in a way where you the viewer can see how the weapon performs uh, on its like best possible performance with the highest amount of scrolls but also uh, going through the hardest route in the game you know if I went to the easiest route in the game this might not have been a uh, honest uh, overview of the weapon you know if I'm able to take uh, flashing fans or spiked boots or I don't know Spartan boots uh, to Conjunctivius, uh, Hand of the King, uh, Spoiler Boss then you can probably take it to you know uh, the, easy, the, the easier bosses quote unquote you know the ones that uh, are not as tough but that being said uh, since I'm already close to being done oh how didn't I take poison damage there Ooh, nice since I'm already really close to being done with every weapon in the game uh, showcasing it we can probably start uh, going back to doing different showcases now going through different routes and you know doing different stuff slow down after tall spreads to nearby enemies, nice. So we can use frostbite with it. Although I might want to refrain from doing it because this is being recorded on the version uh, version 3.3 of the game, version 33, which uh, is just at, uh, before the clean cut update which is gonna happen and they said they were gonna rework frostbite so it might be different than what we're used to right now so I probably wanna skip frostbite Okay. No rifts in here. Okay, the upward zero did a lot of damage there. Okay. 
Okay. We are going to be using Ice Shield with Armadillo Pack. And we're going to be using as many ways to freeze enemies as we can. We're going to try to freeze them as much as possible. Even though that probably won't work much. And for example on bosses like uh, Giant and Hand of the King. We're going to have to rely heavily on skills and deployables. Because even when the... Even when the freeze works, sometimes, when it does, uh, you might end up uh, in a situation where the freeze uh, actually desyncs the enemy's attack and that can screw us over. So for the last half of the game we're probably gonna rely heavily on some sort of skills you know and damage over time and stuff As you can see, we're going very slowly and malaise is building up. We usually don't get uh, that high of a malaise number all the way up till the end of the first area, up uh, of the end of the third area, sorry. And we already have it right here. Okay, so we got two pieces of cursed food, which is great. Okay, here we go, we have eight. Uh. <laughs> no way. I cannot believe we got a Philosopher's Stone, guys. This means the run is pretty much uh, won. And that kind of sucks because this may not, this may end up not being a accurate representation of how most runs go, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it, you know? These things can happen, you know? Sorry I had to mute myself, uh, my mom walked in, she wanted to tell me something, and I just can't help uh, but, you know, being a loving son. Anyway, uh, this is really good. We got a, uh, we got a bunch of fucking money, just a gigantic amount of money. This is great. You can probably respec a bunch of times, you know, make a bunch of mistakes. So right now, 
I'm gonna go with Armadillo Pack. For the extra protection while doing this curse. This is a very rare, very happy moment. I hope I finish this run and don't fail like an idiot. I really love the bouncing, the rebound stone. I really like it. Shame I don't feel like I can use it. I can use it right now. Oh, buddy. Okay. There we go. I'll take the extra jump. I'm not gonna buy anything in here. Sorry guys, once again I had to pause. Mm, I'm thinking of maybe using this. I wasn't paying attention so I missed uh, both food sources. So that's that. Not sure I want to use Necro because that was nerfed. Not sure if I can use Frostbite. Uh, let's go with Frostbite, even if they nerf it. Mm, no. I may have missed a rift back there because my, m my mom was talking to me and I wasn't paying attention. I'm recording this video on the 10th of April, April 10. And I'm on vacation right now, currently staying at my family's home. Uh, usually I live alone where I do college. There we go, that's an upgrade, straight up. Nothing in here.
Oh wait. Yeah, there is. There are places to go down here. A good scroll, great. We got one already. This is our second one. There we go. Those frozen bombs right there are a surefied way of killing. Uh, not killing, but doing a whole lot of damage and stun to Hannah the King. If we manage to get that far. So I'm not sure what we want to use. I don't really like Ice Grenade, but it might be our best option to freeze enemies and do a lot of damage. So we are taking that, unfortunately. Then next, I feel like we want to use Death Orb because that's a very good source of damage as well. Once again, we have no worries regarding money on this run. Oh, that was that was a dumb damage, a dumb hit. I usually don't get damaged by that. Okay. Up, no, down. That is very good. With our armadillo pack, the parry shield. It's amazing. But we have to keep the run team themed around the ice crossbow. Here we go. So we are going to switch up Frostbite with Necro just after the boss because I guess I forgot I was using a difficult weapon and I need all the healing I can get. I forgot dude, sorry. Let's go grab that piece of food now. I think I'm going to do both right away. Because we might get a bonus uh, malaise reduction from killing elites and all. And let's make sure we don't take damage, or at least stupid damage, in the next couple minutes, you know. Also, I really want to find a shop to get an upgrade to the ice crossbow. Oh! You can hold down to fire faster. Nice. Yeah, let's keep the one that I have. Not that we would have money problems by not doing it. Damage is good. Could be better. 15% damage, 50, yeah, this is better. And there we go. I think I wanna go up here for now. There's a chest there, it might be cursed. I think I want to let that change. There we go. Yeah. I wanted to let that change to get the bonus malaise reduction. Can I get the key, please? Let's 
Sorry, buddy. Well. That's an upgrade. That's a guy I have to kill right there. Dude, why did he went? Uh. Oh ho ho! Nice. Sixteen, probably. Uh, Sixteen is all we're gonna get. That's okay. Oh my god! Dude. We didn't get the malaise clear yet. We need to kill those last enemies. Uh, you. Okay, good to know you're cheap. We definitely do not need any more money throughout this entire run. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. Okay, we are missing two kills to get the 60. Let's try and find those behind doors. No, not even sure why I'm doing this. We definitely do not need the money. I've done this one already. And once again, we don't need the money. Not even from the 60 kill door, which is usually why I finish it. I guess it's just force of habit. But since we are not getting it anyway, let's just go. It's a shame, two kills off is uh, sad, but it is what it is. I feel like I still see... Oh no, there are two enemies in here still. <laughs> we can get it. Where's the other one? Here? There we go. Come on. Nice. We're only 30, a minute and 30 seconds late. About two minutes, actually. If I can get an upgrade to the ice shield for free in here, it would be great. Now, is this one better, though? No, it's not. Is this grenade better? Arrows that come back. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. So... Uh, let's keep using Frostbite for now, but we'll change it later to Vampirism. So, hope you guys enjoyed the fight and see you after it.
Okay. That was a very good fight. Uh, I only got one very dumb hit there at the end. It was from the tentacle. And it was just because I wasn't paying enough attention. So, there's that. This could have been a flawless. You know, very good. Uh, skills carried us almost the whole way through there. We are missing both doors, unfortunately. Let's reroll. That's something we rarely do. But we have the money to, to do it right now. We're gonna go with Necromancy, we're gonna go with Gastronomy, and we're gonna go with Armadillo Pack. Why are we doing this? I have no idea. Okay. One more bat scroll for the run. Another thing we have no need for. No need for the money. We got the key. We can just leave here. There's also nothing in this area. So let's just leave. Yeah, buddy. Stay in your lane, please. Let's go through there first. This area right here. We might get the curse right now, which it would be great. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Every single rat aggro down to me, I, I guess. I wanted to save those rats for a easy curse relief. Also, we might want to not go there yet. Sometimes I actually want a cursed, a trapped uh, chest, the one that has enemies inside. That was one of those times. 
I want to get rid of this curse before going into that trap arena right there. We might have no choice though. Damn. Okay, it was easy. Oh, damn. If I have to do another one, please just give me seven enemies that I can kill. Seven enemies, it's all I ask for. Hopefully they'll be behind this door. Nope. Upgrade to the shield. No. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's go there first. I'm literally gonna have to... I'm literally gonna have to do two trap sections in a row. Oh my god. Please, dude. Just let me kill some enemies. Oh, damn. Jesus. That was overly complicated for no reason. I read somewhere that there is a small chance that you get double cursed chests in, in here, but I've literally never seen it. I'm not saying it's not possible, it's just that, once again, never seen it. go for the shop I feel like we probably need to oh no oh, nice oh what's in here Okay, let's grab the food. We do have 100k. So we grab the food. Uh, there's no malaise healing, so let's just grab the clean healing. Behind this uh, trap section right here. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding that the piece of food it was was trapped behind two trap sections and I just did both of them this game is so unnecessarily complicated sometimes but uh, due to RNG I, I mean so it's also amazing that we're going into the caverns because we have one weapon shop there and we only need uh, the upgrade to oh, free money. We could use the syringe to get easy wins for the next two bosses. Huh. I don't know. So, as I was saying, it's good that we're going to the caverns, 
Because there is one weapon shop and two skill shops. And that's exactly what we need right now. Come on, buddy. Because we're gonna need one weapon and that's gonna be the ice crossbow because that's what we're doing to showcase. But we're gonna need, uh, oh no. We're gonna need a bunch of good skills and being able to row through two shops worth of items is an amazing way of making sure you get good skills. I saw a rift there, I know you guys did too. That's great. Oh no. Let's do the rift first. Actually open it up so we don't forget. Ground shakers are so dangerous. There used to be a time where I would just bring a force shield on my backpack all the time into caverns and I would just swap it out and use it even if I had a better shield just so that I could uh, prevent myself from taking damage come on buddy from the Ground Shaker's uh, Earth Slam attack. <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally so lucky. I don't know how I did not took damage there. don't need the money from there but let's go through it oh damn that was dangerous let's go through it just because we might get a free upgrade to our ice shield or something you're not gonna use that doesn't work very well against uh, the giant so for my two main damaging skills I'm thinking of maybe using big food I'm thinking of mainly using death orb and then we could use let's let that turn there we go I'm thinking of mainly using death orb and cat maybe but I'm not sure Cat is very good. I love the cat, guys. Simply love it. Oh no. Uh, are you not gonna leave the ice, buddy? Nothing in here. can only take an eye, uh, a necklace if it is uh, three or more survival otherwise it's not worth changing just die buddy please okay so let's see death orb as I said very uh, diverse stack is really OP but I think we want to skip it because it's so OP. 
cat is also OP and we're using it. But you get the idea. No. No way. Damn it. Oh yes, yeah, sickles are very good as well. I can't believe we're doing a curse in here, damn. Oh, dude. This is probably one of the most stressful curses, in my opinion at least. I'm sincerely hoping the run does not end here. I know for sure there are over seven enemies for me to kill uh, so I'm not even worried about having to do the rift cursed but see those guys are a menace dude please did it have to be a bird? Thank God we did it. Oh damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was really nervous guys. It might not have looked like it, but uh, I was. Let's take the upgrade. Maybe we can get a better one. Ah uh, damn. You know what? That's how you lose the run. That's exactly how you lose a run. By getting too gritty and using the 300% damage afflicted piercing shot. Because think about it. We're not even getting uh, the freeze all the time. We're, we're not even getting freeze all the time. And enemies are already dying in one shot of the normal crossbow. But if we take that, we will be taking a bunch more damage. Uh, and we won't even be able to use it because this is the most useful on bosses and bosses don't get fro frozen that often anyway mm -hmm. so there's no reason for us to buy this no reason at all let's be safe and uh, finish the run without being stupid Come on, buddy. Oh. Which one are we getting into an elite? Okay. We're not using that. So we got a rift and a curse and caverns. That's very rare. Very, very, very rare. Mm. If that was another cursed chest, we would probably have to think about it, but we would have we would have taken it anyway. Let's grab the assassin scroll right here. We're not taking that. Uh, I wanted to parry right away. Sorry roll but I mistimed it one more scroll two more scrolls actually another shop okay 
We got a big heal. Come on, buddy. Cat did no damage to him. Let's do the rift right now, since we already got the map reveal. We are taking the shield into the rift because I want to be able to parry shurikens and the occasional. Oh damn! Could have been the other way around. We are going to be wanting to parry shurikens and the spiked balls themselves, which we can do. It's just very difficult. Love this section. Love it. Hope they never get rid of it. Oh. oh, damn. I don't want to fumble the ball here. Kill this guy now. We still have one hit protection in case everything goes wrong, which I'm hoping it won't. This guy is unstunnable. Yeah. So we have 31 survival, which is very high. Maybe we can get a better spreads, freeze. Bleeding. I think the shot, yeah. This is better, makes the enemies bleed. Burning oil, spreads oil, spreads oil, burning oil. If we get something to do burn, yeah, eh. that's okay. We still have plenty of money to spare. Let's grab that, recycle that right there. We are good to go. We're not missing anything. If we are, you guys can always just roast me in the comments. So right now, what we want to do is take Armadillo pack, as always. We are going to be taking this engagement, just to be extra safe. And the other thing we're taking is... Oh damn, I don't know. Soldier's resistance? Yep. Okay, let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the fight and see you after it.
Okay. It was a tough fight, not gonna lie. But we managed to do it. Great. Don't wanna take the bouncing stone. I think we do wanna take the other shield though. Feel like we'll have a better time using the other shield. get 35 or even 36 if we are really really lucky up until the end of the fight uh, no I'm not gonna use anything right here so once again hope you guys enjoy the fight Okay, we could have avoided, we could have avoided that uh, last instance of damage there. We didn't, because we were bad at the game. So let's try and not do that again. Disengagement, Necromancy, and Gastronomy. We are not going to get the bonus from Armadillo pack in here. But I just don't think it's that necessary. can proc this engagement again safely I didn't know if it was gonna proc next time because we had exactly 15% uh, health and if the game rounds the number just a little bit down you don't get the bonus but now we are at 30 so we're safe Probably nothing in here, right? <laughs> oh no. Extra cells. Uh, let's go through this area first. I know we usually find all the teleporters and then we go back down. teleporting here that I didn't see damn okay is there some something over there 
just a couple enemies, right? There we go. It was just a couple enemies. Uh, so we have one key. Oh, this guy, this guy has so much damage. Shots pierce all enemies. Uh, isn't that uh, normal? I think all shots pierce all enemies. I'm not sure if that's something praiseworthy. We are buying it. Either way. So there is still this area right here. Let's see what we can find. Probably not gonna be anything. Oh, it's the food shop. Yeah, it's probably the food shop. Legendary door. What are we gonna do with it? There we go, as I said, food shop. Good, because we have to go back there. As I said, we might get 35. Okay, let's leave that piece of food there. Oh, we got the shot spear saw on the ice crossbow, and that's great. I thought we it was on the secondary shot. This is very good. There we go, 35 guys, amazing. So we have two pieces of food to use 
Let's kill those guys first. Okay, the other guy is dead as well. Let's go for the food shop right here. And let's go for the damage bonus from gastronomy by recycling the other pieces. We are probably also going to be using gold plating this time because of that uh, legendary philosopher stone we got. We have so much extra money. Is it safe for us to go back there? Uh, how? Through here maybe? If this door is open? Yeah, I opened it. Was it worth it? Oh well. Oh damn, there are no teleporters in this area. We're still going to be using uh, gold plating. 68k, still a very good amount. We usually end up with way less. Let's hope we don't fumble the ball right here. wish on a legendary ice armor I feel like we have a bunch of uh, good synergies and items in our plate already so gold plating disengagement yes overkill and finally armadillo pack do we want it I can roll through the falling bombs to get double bombs or I can just have 40% more health with gold plating and all. Okay. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the fight and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, 
That was a great fight. It was almost a no hit. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, see you in the next video. <laughs>